so we want to press uh, shift y to side view 3 press s to scale shift y and scale it up press a to deselect z to go out of uh, wireframe and tap go out of uh, edit mode and we can put whole thing a little bit higher press 3 to go to side view 5 to go to orthographic view and you can just set it up now if you think your base is too uh, massive you can in the side view select the, the base and press scale Y and make it thinner Put it mm, a bit more in the back. Yeah, I think that's quite good for for us. Select uh, press zero and F12 to render your view. Ha! <laughs> well, we see nothing. Why? Because our light source is still in the back. So we need to select the light. Press G and move it in front of our object. Press F12 to render. And it looks better. It looks much, much better. Uh, if we go to front view and select the base, press SX and scale it up along the X axis a little bit more. I think this this is much, this is better. Yeah. All right. So we have a base. We have our plasma TV body but we want to assign some textures later into a into a screen so but the screen and the body is now uh, just one mesh so select the select the plasma TV body and uh, go to edit mode by pressing tab select face select mode and select this front face which is uh, actually our screen and press P to separate select it and now if you go out the the screen is uh, separated mesh so we can as very easily assign textures and materials into it like movies if you want to do animation okay so, but what is a plasma TV without without sign on it you know like we have a very high quality plasmas on the market I'm not going to talk about uh, any of them for me the bet the best plasma TV on the market is made by blender and uh, if you didn't see it yet in the shops maybe you will see it soon it's called blender on TV yeah so go to front view click somewhere here and spacebar at text I don't know if it if it is the same way in your blender but in my blender it's it always bring me text uh, in the top view so if I'm working in front view and I want to read uh, so I need to rotate my text by pressing R to rotate control and uh, sorry R X rotate along the X and control rotate it 90 degrees that's great press tap and you can edit your text now and my text is gonna be blend there blender on yeah tap go out of edit mode I want to give to my text some extrusion so I'll press extrude button I'll press uh, I'll zoom in for you to see what I mean Beetle depth yeah that's what I like that's what I like now I can do like scale Y and make it more flat go to front view press S to scale whole thing Mm, yep, 
I will, I would uh, uh, press the center new to put my median point into the center of my text. If I go to side view by pressing three, I see it's too deep. So just zoom in a little bit. Still too big, so I press scale Z. One to go to the front view. Oh yeah, I like it. Blender on scale X. Let the people see the new mark, new company. <laughs> All right, uh, so yeah, that's just about right. So we have uh, press zero to go to the camera view, F12 to render, and we see our plasma TV with our stand and our sign on it. Okay, press A to deselect. The same thing as we were, we have done with our cabinet. Press the camera, uh, select the camera, and rotate the camera along the local X, double X. Rotate R to rotate the double X. And yeah, that's good. So uh, if you want, if we want to have this plasma TV as a one, one thing, one mesh, but if we if we will do it as uh, selecting, for example, the stand and then selecting the body, like stand, control, hold down the shift and body, control J, join selected meshes. This is not, not the best option because we have uh, some modifiers applied to a stand and uh, we don't have this modifiers applied to our TV. I don't know, maybe it works, maybe not, I don't know, but what I, from my own experience, I don't think so. So I'm not going to do that. Control Z to go step back. Uh, I just want to give them like child and parent relationship. So if you want to move our body, body of our TV, we want to move our text and our screen with it. Yes, so let's select this uh, this text. Hold on the shift, select the screen, and then select the body and put Control P, make parent. So now the the body, I to deselect the body of our plasma is a, is a parent of screen and text. So if you move a body, a screen and text goes. With it, Control Z to step back, A to deselect, and we now need to make the body a child of the of the stand. So select the body, hold down the shift, select the stand, Control P, make parent. And now, if you want to move uh, your plasma TV in your scene, just select the stand, and you can do it. Yeah, you can press R Z to rotate whole thing. And just select the base. Uh, maybe it's not the right thing to do. I don't know, guys. If you are experienced modelers, just let me know. Thank you very much in advance. So okay, doesn't make a big sense to render it now, but who, who cares? Okay, let's select the the, bo the body of our plasma TV. Go to m Go to shading, uh, press the material icon, add new, and I want to make it like the light uh, gray. Press enter. The same thing, the base. We can choose the material here. Enter. And now we want to assign some material or texture to a screen. So with the screen selected, uh, material buttons, add new. This settings for now we can leave like they are. Add new texture. 
Ciao.